Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we'll be taking a look at this amazing add-on, you know, this amazing plugin called the Blockout Tools. Now, this is one of those tools that was given out by the folks at Epic Games this month. So, the community has actually asked for this tool to be talked about. And today, we're going to take a look at how you can get started with it and also, how does this compare with the existing tools that you already have in Unreal Engine. Now, if you want to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and get this for free. So it's for free since it's something that's available for the month. For you to get started, all you need to do is click on the download link and this is going to pop you right into your Epic Games Launcher. Now, once you open up your Epic Games Launcher, you need to hit on Install to Engine. This is supported for Epic Games Unreal Engine 4.22 all the way to 4.26. And like you can see here, running 4.26 and of course it's going to run very smooth so once you install this to the engine open up your unreal engine and make sure you go over to the plugin section search for the block out tools and turn it on now once you turn it on hit the restart button and this would first restart your unreal engine with unreal engine open right here you would notice that we have the block out tools so if you click on this part or you know where you have your place actors you can see the block out tools that we have here. Most of the tools that you have, they are similar to the tools that you can get from the basic and also from the geometry. So if we click on block out, we have a box which you can play with. And the first things you'll notice is there is a very tiny widget right here. Now this widget is what you can use to play with the skill or you know, you can use it to expand and you can do so many things depending on the direction you're looking at or depending on the axis which you're dragging from you can increase you can reduce and you can make this bigger thicker and all that stuff and the same thing happens for almost all of the other assets so for example let's go ahead and get the doorway and we can drop the doorway right here and with this doorway if you take a look at the property section or the detail section you would notice that we have different parameters that control both the size the thickness the height and also the weight but then if you want to work with these things interactively you can definitely just click drag and you can create a longer doorway and you can also do the same thing like so so depending on what you want maybe you want to make a very tiny tunnel with something like this this might come in very very handy so at this point you can now make some cool changes like that there's a lot of stuff like the skew is also one of them so you can pick the skew and you can make something like this this can also come in quite handy so i can select that and also skew things back and forth there's also a very cool ramping tool as well which you can use to make some very cool ramp i think this is more appropriate for ramp and there's the sphere which you can play with there is also the stairs so you can play with the stairs and do some fun stuff with it now the stairs that you have here is totally different from what you have right here of course you know a lot of people say there's a lot of similarities but i'll i'll tell you guys why there is no similarities with these things so if i select one of these or if i select this one and simply move it to a point like so we can make changes all right so that's by the fact that we can make changes to the color we can also make some changes right here so this stair type is set to box and you can change it to slope and you can see that there's a difference between the two and at this point you can also switch and make it closed so once you make it closed and you go over here and let's say we dial in a number of like uh, 15 for example we can have that beautiful stuff happening and then you can also play with the width so maybe you want this to be about 150 you know in width and you might also want to get some stair depth so for this one we can also set this to about 15 the same way and you can do all of this stuff like that and this same thing is what you can have that is applicable to things like the curved stair so this is the same thing that's applicable to the curved stair and for the curved stair we can go for like 180 and you can get 180 stuff you can go for like 25 different you know uh stairs and you can get that contrary to what you have with this so with this one which is your geometry you can get the stair out but then these are brushes okay so these are brushes they are more like substitute objects for your props so just in case you don't have props or you don't have a tool like this one right now you can easily use this now some of the things that you will not be able to do with this that you can do with these other two which we have here which is the block out 
is you know for every step that you have in block out you can change the type so you can make it close one you can make it a slope one and you can make it a box one but that is not the case for this so for this one you can only have one type okay if you go over to this section called geometry you don't get to see all of that stuff you only have just one type of that particular thing of course you can make some changes you know you can play with the thickness depending on how thick you want it to be and it's not so interactive that much so you don't really have all of that creative freedom another thing which you would need to know about this type is this now if you create something like this these things are brushes so automatically they are more like boolean tools that you can use okay so at this point let's say i make this 150 by 150 by 150 these are more like boolean tools that you can use and how do i mean by that if i have this one selected if you look right here you'll notice that the brush type is set to additive okay and right here this is also set to additive as well and you can see that right over here now if i select this and choose to change it to subtractive what happens is if i start moving this inwards okay you would notice that it is simply subtracting there's an intersection that's happening and it's subtracting now at any point in time you can go in and select any of these faces and you can push the face down and you can push the face up and you can select a point like so and push it all the way in now this is also something that you cannot get you know you can get this with a block out tool they're more like lego piece that you can use to create your own levels your own scene depending on what you would like to make out at the end of the day so for the windows as well you have this window stuff which you can play with and we can scale this up you can move this to that point and you can also let's go ahead and find that yeah, you can also play with something like this which is the casting thickness okay so you can play with these things and you can create some amazing looking stuff you can use this to just simply build up your levels and get started with it so this is the block out tool for those that were asking you know what's the big difference between block out tool and the geometry tool and you know the basic tool is just basic stuff so there is nothing too fancy that you can do with this so it's just like your basic cube and then you have your basic stuff like this contrary to these ones which you can you know interactively make changes to of course i love the fact that you know you can easily do this and you can quickly build your scenes with this stuff and for materials yes you can create a material of your choice and you can apply this material to the object click right over here click on custom material and that way you will be able to you know throw in that material so let's drag and drop that material right there and there you have it so if we double click into this material and we choose to make changes to the material automatically that's going to happen so if we simply press the tab on the keyboard and let's get a constant let's get a constant tree vector and connect this constant tree vector right over to this point click on this constant change the color to maybe something like red maybe or maybe let's go for green this time click on ok hit on apply and save if we jump back you would notice let's close this okay so you notice that it's uh, applied here so that's the same way you can also apply you know materials to almost everything so if you select this as well you notice it has this base color and yes you can also change this all right so you can change this if you want but then if you want to get like custom color which you can also manipulate or custom materials which you can manipulate you can also play with this and replace that and you can notice that you're having the same thing across these objects so this is basically how you can get started with working with block out tool and for those who need it you can go over to the link in the description and get it and if you have the epic games launcher you can go over to the marketplace then you go over to the section where you have the free go over to the free for the month because this asset or this plugin is free for the month of december so you can go over there and grab this and start working with it so if there is any add-on that you guys want me to try out or maybe there is any plugin that exists with unreal engine you guys would like me to try out simply put that in the comment section or you can suggest that on discord link to the discord is going to be in the description so you can join the community right there tell me what you guys think about this one and if you love this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video 
or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.